The cause of Palestine is the cause of the prisoners because they inflamed their own bones in order to light our way. I would like to thank those who raised these generations, Dr. Ahmed Abu Halabia and Dr. Atala Abu Seba. We have been taught in their hands. We have seen Jerusalem through their words because it is the cause of our nation. As we are calling today to take part in the global march to Jerusalem, we tell people that neither days, months nor years will make us forget our cause. Changing the landmarks of the streets of Jerusalem and putting the Star of David everywhere, even in the smallest parts of Jerusalem, will not make us forget either. We tell you all that Jerusalem is in our hearts and in our minds. Those who forget Jerusalem forget their past and their beliefs. Those who negotiate over Jerusalem negotiate with their lives. They want to change the landmarks of Al-Aqsa and Jerusalem. They changed our buildings. They uprooted our graves to build a park over the cemetery for those who have come from all over the world to enjoy Jerusalem's fresh air. Do you know, people, that some religious Jews sell Jerusalem's air in bottles? Our cause is inseparable from the minds of our people and of our nation. The awakening of our nation will help write the new history of Palestine and will help the Palestinian cause again gather its importance. Our nation is changing and walking on the right path. We tell all people of the world that the global march for Jerusalem in Gaza might be from Rafa to Beit Hanum, but this is only the first step to our Al-Aqsa. Global march to Jerusalem will continue all over the land until we reach Al-Aqsa. We have been here in this land since Allah first linked Al-Aqsa with the heavens. In Al-Aqsa, Allah gathered the prophets with our prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. These few words, along with this meeting, represent the suffering of the prisoners who are undertaking hunger strikes today. We recall Hannah Shalabi and all those brothers who have joined the hunger strike to promote the cause of Jerusalem and carry it on their shoulders the rest of the way. What price would our enemy pay for Al-Aqsa? Would you people accept it? 
We definitely will not accept it. Al-Aqsa is priceless. We pray to Allah that the day will come when our land is free. God bless you.